water water is mandatory in all educational schools and colleges and institutions and now we are done uh, 1000 liter per hour ro plant in women's christian college at egmore and let's go inside and see how the plant works It's now standing in the plant area of 1000 liters per hour RO plant and the left side tank is a storage tank where the bore water gets in collected and this is a 5000 liter storage tank where the bore well water gets in collected in this tank. This is the plant area room, we'll go inside the room after this. From this plant area, after the treatment of water, the RO treated water, the drinking water gets stored in the uh, overhead uh, tank which is in white color which is a drinking water storage of 2000 liters capacity. And from here it is dispersed to the canteen as well as the hostel which is about all the uh, girls and women are st staying here. And this will go enter inside the plant area room now. We are entering inside and on the uh, left side uh, you see a blue color cylinder, right? From the 5000 liters tank which is outside, the water is pumped into this blue color filtration system. This will remove up to 100 microns of sediment impurities in the water and from there it the water gets pumped into this micron filtration system in the unit which is a 5 micron and 1 micron filtration system and from there it has been pressurized to the high pressure pump inside high pressure RO pump which can deliver up to 18 bar pressure and from there the water has been pumped into this four mem membranes which is located at the back which is the salt separation process happens all the reject water goes to the drain and the product water goes to the uh, treated water tank which you saw on the uh, terrace and uh, what is the best advantage on this is many people they um, do a RO plant in the sense like they put only one membrane which is actually a wrong uh, design but whereas uh, if you're going to put four membranes the uh, the unit will last for a longer period and uh, the rejection reject will be less and also the membrane life also will be very high and this is a unit and this membrane which we have installed in WCC is more than four years old see the look at the quality of the machine and still it's solid and, and uh, very good and the usage is also very high and this will last going to last uh, still more than about five to ten years more foremost advantage of the plant is actually you don't require an anti-scaling dosing system and uh, you actually shed up every month around five thousand to five rupees for the anti-scaling alone here because you have a flushing valve in the unit which is a german technology design which you have made this is going to go do auto flushing of the membrane at pressure of 10 to 12 bar for every half an hour or 30 minutes or whichever the desired time be set in so that the uh, me membrane life lasts longer and the unit also the RO plant also lasts a very long time and after the water uh, uh, is processed from through the membrane it comes out of this drinking water pipeline and then it goes to this UV chamber here where the any disinfectant contamination uh, if it's there in the water and that also is removed and then it's pumped to the overhead tank which you saw earlier in the white color overhead tank thank you